maybe four years ago, back in high school, my good friend Megan told me this really dumb, strange joke thing about escalators being stairs that move and stairs being escalators that are broken. And I just remember thinking to myself, this is not a good joke and it, it doesn't make sense. A few weeks later, I was with Megan on a really long escalator and we were going down the escalator and I just remember thinking of that joke and I, I told her, I'm like, dude, I totally forgot who told me this, but it was someone really stupid and it was just a really bad joke and I explained the joke to her and she just goes, Kelly, I told you that joke. And then I crumbled into a, a big old puddle of awkward and that escalator was moving really slow that day. Oh, and Megan is not a stupid person. She goes to Stanford now. I'm so sorry, Megan. I'm so sorry. So one night I was hanging out with um, these college friends that I had and they were having a bit of a shindig at their house. And I went there and I consumed alcohol, which normally I do very well. I handle it like a pro, but I guess I went slightly overboard that night. Um, I don't ever throw up from drinking, but I did that night. It also escalated to the point where I took a shower with my clothes on, and then my friend had to come dress me in somebody else's clothes. So it's about 1 a.m. Me and my friends are in Barcade, the half bar, half arcade in Brooklyn, and I have been switching between liquor and beer, which if you don't know, is a bad decision, and I will not stop asking my friends if I should call this girl or not, and as I'm asking my friends constantly the same question over and over again, I look at my friend right across the table and go, oh no. I'm gonna be sick. And that's not a situation you wanna be in where you're the guy that's gonna be sick in the bar and then I realize, wait, I'm not gonna be sick. But just in case, let's examine the situation around me and I look and directly to my right is a trash can. So I'm like, cool, if things do go south, I'll be fine. And five minutes later, of me asking the same stupid questions about whether or not I should call a girl or not, I go, you know what? I am gonna be sick. And just kind of off frame, do my business, get back up, fine. The rest of the night, take the subway, back to my friend's apartment, have a lovely night's rest. So that's the one time I was the guy in the bar getting sick and crying about a girl. During my sophomore year of college, I attended a big house party with some of my friends. At one point during the night, I overheard a guy near me use the word cops. And so I immediately decided that that meant the cops were coming. And also I decided that it should be me who lets the masses know so that everyone could disperse safely into the night. So I went through the party, spreading the news, letting everybody know, causing a minor frenzy in the process. And when I got back around to the guy whom I had overheard talking earlier, he looked at me and he said, so who told you that the cops were coming? I was on cold medications and Twitter, a bad combination right from the start. I happened to notice that one of my friends tweeted something along the lines of, men need to this where the this was in the context of hetero dating and how men should be respectful of women. Heteronormative, yes, but I think within that context, it was a valid point. Now being all medicinally clouded in the thinking space, I took that tweet to be like a brainstorming prompt and I replied with something along the lines of, why should men be respectful of women? Not because I thought they shouldn't, but because, you know, I wanted to build up an arsenal of rhetoric for dealing with straight men who needed schooling. A third person comes into the Twitter conversation and says that my question to my friend was sexist. Now at this point I'm fading fast. It's like I'm 90% NyQuil and 10% me, but I realize I need to tweet an apology to this third person because they're right. So I, I tweet out my apology and then I passed out. Hours later I wake up, I review what I had written, and I had tweeted, I'm sorry you think I'm being sexist. 
No! I was pretty straight edge in high school. Like, I didn't drink or shoplift or make it look like my neighbor's decorative Christmas reindeer were humping one another. Uh, I liked Death Cab for Cutie, you know, it was a different time then. It was it's high school. And you know those guys that go around to middle schools and talk to preteens about not doing drugs and alcohol? And one time I decided it would be a good idea to show some alternative hobbies that one could partake in. Now I can play a few instruments, but what I can't do is play any of those instruments well. So I brought a bass in front of this group of children. It was a pretty cool looking bass and I plugged it into a pretty cool looking amplifier. Their faces were lighting up. I actually heard a kid say, this is gonna be awesome. And I thought the one thing that I hadn't considered until that moment, what if I suck? And guess what? I sucked and I sucked really bad. As I struggled through a bass line from rocking the suburbs, I could see disappointment just washing over their faces, and I realized these kids are gonna be hooked on blow by the weekend. And it's all because I needed to show off my subpar musical ability.